I've had a couple of people reach out to me around the PHP, running PHP on Lambda. Um, I produced a blog post probably up to about a year ago now, and that's on Medium, and there's a video around that. And a few people have asked some questions, and um, I thought I'd simplify that and put together a little bit of a video and a sample repository. Um, I wasn't sure how long it would take to demo this in 10, so I thought it'd be interesting to, to time it and see how quick we can get PHP deployed in Lambda. Uh, so I'll kick off that timer. Um, I've decided to do that in um, uh, Cloud9 uh, so that everybody can follow along at the same time. Um, I'll leave all these settings as default here and I'll create that environment. Um, I did I did notice that I selected uh, Singapore region there. You can use whichever region you want. Uh, the code will be, is completely independent of the region that you start up uh, your Cloud9 instance in. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clone this, this repo here. Um, so as soon as this starts up, and that shouldn't take too long. It's usually a minute or less, I'd say. reference I'm not a PHP developer um, I you know have used it five six years ago and um, I'm not a fluent PHP coder I just thought it was really interesting uh, to go through and, and set it set up PHP in Lambda just a good idea to save a whole bunch of money okay so here we go um, back to that that re repository uh, we'll see in Cloud9 we've got to do the following and I'll, I'll paste this in and then I'll step through what we're going to do here. So basically we're going to install PHP 7.2, we're going to CD into uh, the repo that we just cloned and then we're going to download and install Composer. Um, Composer is like a dependency manager for PHP applications. So we'll go back and we'll see what that's up to. So it shouldn't take too long. PHP is installed, it's going ahead downloading its configured composer. That looks like it's all done, no errors there, so that looks good. Um, the next point is we're going to install a couple of dependencies we need. So we'll um, CD into code and then run these uh, composer commands to install both Bref and Guzzle. Um, we can see here that Guzzle did work properly, but Bref gave a, a bit of an error. That error is around this um, ext mb string. So I've said how to fix that here, so just yell install PHP MB string. You can sort that out. So that's installed there now. And um, now we can just run that same uh, command for break. So that's installed now. Um, so now we'll go ahead and install Brev. That looks looks much better now. No red. Okay, that looks really good. Um, at this point here, we're ready to deploy our app. So copy these commands again from where we are, and we'll go back out of the code folder and back up into um, uh, the PHP Lambda. Actually, what there's one step that I did miss here. So we need to in a template file. We're using a layer. So this is a Brev layer. Not be AP, so these those two for me. So I'll deploy this into Sydney. Um, those uh, those um, those layers are available, and I'll show that in just a second once I set this up. So PHP video. So we'll deploy this PHP video stack AP South East two deploy into. Uh, make sure whatever wherever you deploy the region into is the same as the layer you've used. Um, Otherwise, that will throw an error and won't work. Um, confirm change no, yes, 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 enter, enter. Okay, so that will go ahead and build that CloudFormation and deploy the Lambda function and an API gateway uh, that we'll be able to invoke. Um, so, as I mentioned, there's the 
the breath runtime layers that can be used to um, enable the running of PHP within Lambda. So if we go back to, uh, we see the runtime, we're not uh, choosing one of the node or pre-existing AWS configured runtimes, we're doing a provided runtime, which is a base container with a whole bunch of files laid on top um, to enable the running of PHP. Um, you can build this layer yourself if you want to do some specific customizations, and you can provide layers or libraries on top of that. Uh, I don't know for argument's sake if you need image magic or something within your PHP application, um, you can go ahead and put um, layers on top of that. Um, I'm not doing anything fancy in this application, so this is just fine. So at this point, we can see that this is looking pretty good, all green so far. And there we go. So our API has deployed. Um, I will open that endpoint and we should see the output of that Lambda function. Uh, there we go. Um, so this is now deployed in Lambda. It's ready to, to, to use within your application. Um, I'll check the timer. So we're, you know, we're, we're five and a half minutes or so. Um, and you can see that like the first time we hit it, there was a little bit of cold stuff. If we hit it again, um, that's probably, we're probably seeing a bit, a little bit of slowness because it's, that API might be really slow. Um, just, just for interest sake, maybe we'll, um, we'll change that a little bit and make it uh, a little faster and just see how quick it actually works. So we'll just comment that out. We don't, we don't care about getting that back. Um, so we'll say this comes from Lambda new and I'll just remove the HTTP result from, from what we're sending back. Um, and so all we'll do is send that back. We'll see how fast PHP is actually running in Lambda. So we can just do SAM deploy again with that. That will package up that application. Won't need to redeploy any of the infrastructure, just update the function itself. So that's now we can sort of really see that like that is really fast. So that external call, to that sample API was probably a little bit slow, um, which was you know looked like PHP was running slow within Lambda, but it's not. Um, but yeah, he, this is a very simple video of, and example repository on how to go ahead and deploy your PHP applications on AWS Lambda. Thanks.